Today's reading is Mimic, an entry from the Monsco Encyclopedia book series. Monsters with the ability to set a trap by mimicking treasure chest. They live in places such as towers and caves. In dungeons that adventurers visit, they blend in among the treasure chest and they wait patiently for a man to open it himself. They have magic that they can use to teleport themselves to other locations, and while I'm not sure about their sources, they can get information about dungeons that have a lot of traffic, dungeons that have rare loot, etc., and move from place to place based off of that information. Since they may rarely slip into human houses or castles, one should never let their guard down even with treasure chests outside of dungeons. When a human who will become their prey opens the treasure chest, the mimic will leap out with great force and startle the man, then using a charm or bind spell to seal his movements. Then, as if to present themselves as a treasure chest, they show off in front of the man while undoing their own ribbon and exposing their naked body. They will offer their body to the man along with plenty of pleasure and milk out this the mana they feed upon. If the man strikes their fancy, he'll then be dragged inside the treasure chest. Afterwards, the man dragged inside will disappear somewhere, and the only thing remaining will be an empty treasure chest. According to one explanation, it is that the inside of their treasure chest is a space they created with magic that exists in a different dimension. It is said that they will continue to have sex alone together in that place where they won't be disturbed by anyone else. Or they teleport themselves to a super low traffic dungeon where they will proceed to get out of their treasure chest and screw this man to their heart's content. Their weak point is the keyhole of the treasure chest before they jump out. If a key corresponding with the keyhole were to be inserted before the mimic jumps out, then she'd be spat out from the treasure chest, and the chest that she had been in up until that point would disappear in a flash of light. Due to the disappearance of the chest, the mimic would lose her magical energy and become utterly powerless. It would probably be possible to capture her, however thus far, a key corresponding to the keyhole has not been discovered. It is said that even when a skilled thief attempted to pick the lock, it still wouldn't open. However, on just one occasion, there was a man who succeeded in unlocking the chest by inserting some kind of pole-shaped object other than a key into the keyhole. He stuck his dick in it, didn't he? According to that man, the moment he unlocked it, the mimic clung to him for some reason, and he ended up being joined with her. The mimic became very submissive, and she would do anything he asked, so he took her home with him. However, perhaps because she needed to replace the demon mana she lost with mana, she was far more lustful than an ordinary mimic. She was always wanting to offer her body to the man, and it is said that she even ended up begging him to ravage her. It could likely be said that the man literally obtained a mimic by unlocking the treasure chest that the mimic was inside of.